Moving on now, the United Nations General Assembly has voted in favor of holding Russia accountable for its crimes in Ukraine. The resolution, supported by 94 out of 193 members, called on Moscow to recognize its responsibility and make reparation to Kiev. It also recommends member states to cooperate with Ukraine and create an international register to record evidence and claims against Russia. Remember that General Assembly resolutions are non-binding, but they carry political weight. Ukraine has welcomed the development, while Russia said that the provision of the vote are null and void. The proposal in front of you today is a proclamation that Russia must be held accountable for its violations of international law in Ukraine. It is reaffirmation of the need of a concrete mechanism for reparations that will breathe life into this proclamation. It is a call for the member states to come together and build legitimate international infrastructure to deal with the consequences of Russian aggression against Ukraine. С юридической точки зрения, положение проекта не выдерживает никакой критики, являются юридически ничтожными и попыткой легализовать нелегализуемые с точки зрения действующего международного права. Now, 14 countries voted against the resolution, including Russia, China and Iran, while 73 abstained, including Brazil, India and South Africa. Before the vote began, Ukraine's envoy to the UN mentioned that there was a precedent for, for reparations, hinting at time when Iraq paid over $50 billion in damages from its 1990 failed takeover of Kuwait. That payoff was overseen by a UN body created specifically for the case, the UN Compensation Commission. The resolution is just a partial step forward creating a reparation mechanism for Ukraine, but it could eventually lead to Kiev making claims on the hundreds of billions of dollars worth of Russian assets frozen by the United States and European allies since the beginning of the war.